Hi ladies, this is what I've been sewing this year. Let's start with my first make, which were these dresses. Now at first they were gorgeous and I, I thought I chose the right material for it. I found the material at Walmart, it was this light drapey muslin. Never make a dress with muslin. They turned out after the first wash they got all frail and hard to deal with. They frayed like crazy, but they were nice dresses. Here's Alana modeling it for you. Maybe some other time I'll think about making it with a different material. Here I refashioned a top from Forever 21. I actually thrifted this top, didn't like it for me, but I thought the ruffle would be really nice for a little girl's dress. So I took it in and made it nice, and now Leanna has a dress. Here she is modeling it for you. And I like that it's long too. Here's an outfit I made for them to go swimming in their little kiddie pool this summer. I thought, you know, I didn't like the clothes on them, it gets wet, it's short, so I made these that they'd be comfortable. Here's a dress I made in the beginning of this year. Now, I made this dress when I was already pregnant. So the bust was fitting quite well until after I gave birth. <laughs> Then the bust is uh, not not fitting at all. I made it as a, as you can see, I made it as a breastfeeding gown. It's pretty comfortable, very nice, but oh my goodness, I need to fix it somehow. Hi everybody, I just want to add a little snippet, a little video in of my sewing plans for the rest of 2018 I think by next month I'll have a lot more that I want to do but um for now this is what I have planned now I don't have many many patterns but I'm gonna show you what I am um, up to by next month I may have it uh, finished and ready for another video a sew-and-tell video so, um, what I plan on doing is using up some material. I'm in, I'm in a cabin right now, which is, uh, my husband is allowing me to use this cabin as a sewing room. And we have some beds in it for guests if they drop by. But, um, it is really nice to have. A room and space to myself at least for now temporarily because I know it's not gonna be forever but it's really good and I can get some stuff done so I just fixed it up with uh, you know the, the walls are not done yet so I just put some something to make me feel comfortable <laughs> in here you know um, over here I have my material over there I have my sewing machine and um, I have my finished items and so on and I got these things from the last video that I still have not finished I know I got a lot going on that's why I haven't finished them and I kind of with that one I kind of uh, I kind of hit a mental roadblock with that one uh, every time I try to do something, I feel like, from a pattern, I feel like it's just too much. But I'm working on finishing it, and you might see the finished product in the next video. So my plans for this, my plans for the next few months involve using up these, um, these pieces of cloth. I think with this one I might do a uh, it's a pretty large pattern I may either do um, a wrap top 
uh, because I'm breast I'm breastfeeding and I need things that can you know that I can easily gain access to I really wanted to make some vintage dresses with them and the prints would do really good because they're not vintage they're kind of modern um, African prints and it would spruce up a vintage pattern pretty well but wrap a wrap top is way easier less time uh, breastfeeding friendly so I'm gonna go with that I'll make a wrap top from this one or maybe a wrap dress because I have enough of this fabric to make a wrap dress I did a little bit of um, selfless sewing I made a few skirts from this material um, when the girls were babies I made I made outfits from this material and I made um, a little girl's outfit from this material I'll show you right now oh this is a little dress that I made it was supposed to be for a one one-year-old um, girl and it goes with this um, this here and I did it for one of my sisters and then I kind of lost her address because she deleted her profile from my Skype so I was I was thinking you know what I can't find the address I can't get back on to her maybe I'll just send this to someone else so if you have a one-year-old girl that you know you want this dress for just let me know um, the first person to comment <laughs> that they want it and I'll send it to you because I the girls have enough clothes um, right about now and the material from the last video that I did I had a little bit extra that I made this skirt with and this is just a, a normal skirt you know this can fit I was supposed to I was gonna send this to one of my other sisters she has an 8 year old girl and I figured you know I do this and send it to her never got to it uh, I was extremely late and then things happened, life happened and now I don't think that me sending it is going to work. So here's another skirt that I have here that I worked on. I worked on a lot of things while I was pregnant. <laughs> this here I'm going to use it for a wrap top as well as a little trimming for a dress that I'm gonna make with this white material for the girls two su uh, summer dresses and I got a another brown material that I'm gonna mix it up with oops and make um, those outfits with so in total four summer dresses three wrap tops and my my I'm setting myself up here so I went to the library they had this ginormous sale and I was thinking oh man this is great so I went in and I asked them do you have any sewing books turns out I got two vintage sewing books just for like less than 11 cents each <laughs> it was amazing and from these there's let me show you this there's patterns so I was so happy you can't imagine how happy I was when I found these because they have the exact shirt dresses that I want to make for winter this year so here they are this is one I'm gonna show you it right now I am going to make this version and it's it's really a coat dress 
it's gonna be great <laughs> I haven't picked my material yet but I um, I'm making plans for it and here is the pattern I really hope that I don't have to do too many uh, too much altering to the pattern I hope it's in my size I haven't checked it yet I'm just too excited and then um, there is this one this one is my favorite by far and I think I'm gonna make not only one but maybe next year I'll make a few more of these uh, coat dresses this one is the one I'm planning on making isn't that cute <laughs> and again I haven't I haven't gotten my material yet but I am working on it and I'm thinking maybe just maybe if I have enough time well I really don't have time but if I make enough time I can sew my sons a couple of these uh, bomber jackets is it a bomber jacket what do they call it it's a I guess it I guess it is a bomber jacket looks like it I like that one so I'm gonna make them a few of those and um, that's it you guys that is uh, what I plan on these are my sewing plans for the rest of the year and I don't want to I already put too much on my plate but I like a challenge so it's gonna be a challenge for me maybe I won't finish all of it maybe I will well you will see <laughs> okay so be blessed have a good day bye all right I do have a little something to show you guys we have um, we have a sister that sews and she actually does quilts now I don't know how to quilt but this sister sure knows how to quilt and she's been making us quilts and sending it to us she sent the girls some quilts for their uh, I think it was their birthday back a while ago and um, she has continued to support our ministry as you guys know we have a deliverance ministry and sometimes we have close friends that uh, through ministry that come and um, visit and we have had other guests that we do not know come and visit and now that we have a little space for them uh, I let my sister know and she's been sending us these quilts as donations to the ministry so I want to show them to you and share them with you because I think they're just beautiful and I just want to say thank you by video because um this is a fantastic job it takes a long time and a lot of effort to make these and a lot of dedication too I mean look at this you know they're beautiful and I am very grateful we're all grateful for your handiwork and your your craft it's very beautiful and we just want to say thank you for supporting the ministry like this I am really sure that the guests will be very comfortable when they uh, when they use these and I'm sure they'll be very grateful to know that someone cared enough to make them these you know I want to show you another one she made that one for the female the if there's a female that visits and they need to uh, stay in this in this area I can make the bed uh, she sent us sheets too for the beds <laughs> for the guest cabin 
and I can make the beds and put the the female quilt on and then she sent one for the males and I just think this is beautiful look at this isn't that wonderful it's a beautiful color this is one of my favorites and at the back of it is this solid black so I think the contrast the the pattern it's very neatly done you know it's lovely and this is gonna be for the men that visit so um i'm sure they'll appreciate that when i share that story with them how my sister in christ and a supporter of this ministry thought enough about our guests to comfort them with these luxuries <laughs> okay so thank you Linda I have two Linda sisters right now there's the Linda that does the quilts and there's the Linda that you may have seen there's the Linda that's a family friend of ours that you may have seen in um, a previous video that we did a long time ago <laughs> so thank you to the Linda that did the quilts I'm not sure if you'd want your entire your whole name out there, so I'm not gonna say your last name, but you know uh surely you know who you are, and we really appreciate it. Thanks.